<sighs> Hello YouTube. Um, yeah, I found my makeup bag. Yes. Thank you, Hi Bean. Um, this video is basically on the subject of like marriage, boyfriends, and girlfriends sort of thing. Um, I think I should get into the boyfriend and girlfriend subject things. Guys and girls, why do you have to be so fucking clingy? Why? I'm not going to, well, you know, we're not going to run off anywhere, you know. If we're actually enjoying being in the relationship, we're going to stay in the relationship. You know, and trying to tie yourself to us 24-7 ain't going to make us stay. It's just going to make us be like, whoa, you know, what is going on here? I do not want to be mithered and duh. I just can't do, I can't begin to understand why anyone would want to be so clingy. Like, I've been in the same situation so many times. And I will tell you now, it is not nice. You wake up in the morning and you're being kissed and hugged and it's like, go away, I'm not awake yet. But they still do it anyway. Why, why would you do that? Like, if we're planning, if we see you as a long term person to go out with, then, you know, there's no need to worry. It's meant, the beginning of a relationship is meant to be like relaxed and calm and you know it's not meant to be so serious like it's meant to be all chilled and happy and stuff like that you don't need to be so clingy to my boyfriend I'm not going anywhere you don't need to constantly hug me and kiss me and stuff you don't need to do it. By the way, the clinginess really isn't giving me a good impression on the whole relationship because it's just doing my head in. Okay, so you miss me. So, you know, you don't need to cry all the time about it. You're going to see me in a couple of days. The time away from each other is good because I'm not your possession. I need time for me and my family and my friends. I can't constantly spend every day and every night with you. I'm sorry, but I genuinely can't do it. <sighs> Go to the girls, the girls who have boyfriends. Why are we so moody? Why? Why is it we get annoyed by everything? As soon as we get into a relationship, I don't get it. Like, even when we're not with that person, things just really, really start to annoy us. And guys, please, please, keep sex off your fucking mind. We don't want to hear about it 24-7. Like, seriously. Just makes us feel like the whole relationship is about sex. Because... You know, you won't leave as long, you won't stop talking about it, you won't stop asking for it, you get a mood when we don't give it to you, blah, 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 blah. all that sort of stuff. <sighs> I think I need a 10 second chill thingy. 10, 9, 8, 7, ah, oh, fuck that, I can't be honest. Um, Okay, about this marriage thing, like, okay, so you've been in a relationship, like, a year or two, and, uh, yeah, you start talking about marriage. Again, what's the rush? Like, what is the rush? I personally don't get what you need to hurry for, like, is it because nowadays we see marriage as love? and a way of possessing that person so that like you know they're yours and it's harder to get out of a relationship technically because you have to pay and all that stuff um is it because you feel like they're more yours 
because believe it or not, that person is still as much as their own as they will ever be. You will never, like, own that person. So please, if you're marrying them just for the sake of, like, keeping them because you're so afraid of losing them, then, you know, that's going to be shit fucked because if there's no time behind the relationship and all that lot, it ain't going to work. Like, it won't work. There's, it, okay, so there's, like, there's going out, then there's living together. Like, you don't want to get married before you actually start living together, because if, okay, all, like, marriages are all nice and sparkly, and it's, like, all the glamour and glitz of it, and once that's over, you two have to live together. Can you imagine yourself living with them? Now, I'm not talking about, you know, all the cuddles and the happy things, waking up to each other with smiling faces, you know. I'm talking about, okay, girls, pebbles in the shower plug, or the bath plug, plug all, yeah. Facial hair all over the sink. Don't even get me started that guys tend to forget to flush the toilet. And that's just in the bathroom. Can you handle that yet? I don't think so. Like, seriously. There's a limit. There is a limit. Things aren't going to work out if you don't live together first. Or if you have no idea of what it's going to be like when you actually do live together. Like, okay, maybe I'm over-exaggerating because I've never actually lived with a boyfriend. But technically, I am actually living with my boyfriend because I'm there more than I'm at home. Completely. I've been home like two days in the last four weeks. So, you know, I'm starting to get the idea. Um... You know, are you ready to put up with each other all the time? Like, the moods, the mornings, like, you know, the flipping cleaning up after each other, the flipping laundry. Let's face it, quite a lot of guys, I'm not saying all, but quite a lot, pretty much depend on the female figure that they're living with. I ain't being that female figure. Sure, one day I'm going to be a mum and I'm going to have to deal with a kid and stuff like that. But I don't want to have to mother the man of the house. There's a kind of... Isn't there meant to be some dignity behind the term man of the house? Hello? You're meant to be the independent one and all that stuff. Not the women. We don't always have to be the independent one. Why do we always have to be the independent one? I don't get it. <sighs> but yeah, there's no rush. We're not going anywhere. If we're happy in the relationship, then we'll stay in the relationship. If we're not happy in the relationship, then there needs to be communication because that's how things roll. And if communication and plans and, like, you know, solutions and all that stuff doesn't work, then it's not meant to happen. It's simple. So, you shouldn't be too clingy. Girls, we need to stop being so moody. Well, try, but won't well, work, but try. Guys, keep sex out of your minds. If you have to, go to the hospital and get your head removed from between your legs and put here where it's meant to be. <sighs> There's no rush for marriage because if we're happy and we're not going anywhere and you don't need to smother us with love and affection because it's going to get too much and we'll get pissed off and then we'll end up getting really, really pissed off and 
after months and months and months of enjoying it, we'll probably leave. We will probably leave. Because there's only so much love and affection a person can take. Especially a person who's been treated like crap by every person before that, before you. So, yeah. Calm it down a bit. Uh, I can't be asked with this video. Um, this was a kind of video response to Jenna Marbles. I will put the little editing box somewhere up here. If I can be bothered. Um, and I will see you all soon. Oh, by the way, Jenna is awesome. You've got to start watching her videos. They're just fucking ace. And, yeah. Bye-bye.